Hello everyone, it's Jennifer McGuire here, and I'm really excited because Hero Arts is releasing their 2013 stamps for their new catalog, and today is the debut of some of the newest stamps. They released some of them early in December, and I used some of them to create these cards. I'm going to show you an easy technique and a quick way to make three cards using a couple stamps. So I'm using this background stamp. It's a new one. It's a tweed background. I think it's just fantastic. Lots of great techniques you can do with it. I went ahead and stamped this onto several pieces of white cardstock in different colors of ink that I like. Uh, the one I'm doing right now is the Soft Pool Shadow Ink from Hero Arts. Um, over to the left you'll see uh, Tide Pool, uh, Green Hills I believe, Soft Granite, and Soft Apricot. Now these all are shadow inks so when they stamp they're a little splotchy at first but they absorb in even out and you get a nice smooth perfectly stamped image. It's great for any kind of stamp with lots of solid area. So I just went ahead and stamped this on a bunch of pieces of white cardstock. And because I'm doing so many pieces, I can create several of these cards using those pieces. Now this background is great as is. It makes a great background. But I'm going to give it a different kind of look by cutting it into little strips. One of the things I love about all these geometric background stamps that are real popular right now is that you can cut them up and get completely different looks. So now I have these little chevron strips that I've cut from this background. This background would be great for a lot of techniques, but this one's just qu oh, quick and easy and clean and simple way to use it. So I'm just going to quickly go through and cut strips out of this pattern. And I'll do this also with all the other papers that I stamped already. And you can see how nice and smooth those inks end up stamping once they're, they're completely dried. So here are all my chevron strips I've created. And I wanted a white note card, so I'm actually going to take a colored note card from Hero Arts and turn it inside out. I love having the white on the outside and the unexpected splash of color on the inside. So now I have all these strips, and I can just play around with these. There is no rhyme or reason to how I assembled these. I just kind of played around with them until I got what I wanted. I originally had these straight across the card. But I think it's fun to sometimes do things at an angle, especially with this stamp that has the angled chevron. So you can um, kind of just change things up by making your card at an angle also. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these into a V point just following the pattern on the stamp itself. And you'll notice I did stamp in the apricot color but I actually ended up not using that. I decided to put on a splash of red instead which I'll show you in a bit. Now as I started to put these pieces down, I decided that it might be a smart of me to decide how much space I need to leave for my greeting between some of these strips. So I went ahead and glued one down and I'm getting the other one ready, but I'm going to go ahead and pick out what greeting I want to use. Um, one of the things that I encourage all new stampers to get is some clear greeting sets that have lots of greetings like this new one from Hero Arts, which has a ton of thank you greetings. So I'm going to pick out my favorite here. It says thanks to you and all you do. And I just want to put it down here just so I know how much space I need to leave between these two strips. This is a nice trick to, with clear stamps. Is you can lay them where you want them just so you can get the spacing right when you're assembling your card. And now I glued those first strips down just straight onto the card. Uh, for some of the other strips I decided to put them on with foam adhesive. So some are flat and some are raised just to give some fun dimension to the card. It's just a little bit of interest that it adds, but without too much bulk. So I'll just go ahead and line that up, and I'm being sure to uh, line up the chevron pattern from one strip to the next, just to make it easier on the eye. So now that I've glued all my strips on the angle, I just kind of randomly put them down. I'm going to flip it over and cut along the edge to remove any of the excess that's hanging over. Now you could have a field day and make a bunch of these cards at once by stamping, say, a rainbow of different colors, maybe, you know, maybe eight different colors, and make each of the strips a different color. Then you would have enough to make many of these cards just by changing up which strips go where. Now I decided, actually, I thought it would be fun to have some of these strips hang off the edge of the card, but I still want it to fit in my envelope. So I'm going to use my trimmer to cut off just about a quarter of an inch off the edge of the card. Now I'm going to go back and put those pieces down, and now they can hang off the edge and still fit in the envelope. So I'll, you'll want to test that to make sure it does still fit in the envelope. But by trimming off a little bit, I should have enough room for this to still fit in. I love how unexpected those pieces hanging off the side can be. Now I also wanted to add some red hearts just to make it really pop. So I have the Hero Arts Chalk Punch ink. It's just a nice red ink and I'm stamping it onto punch layering paper. It's a paper from Hero Arts just for a tone on tone red. You could use any red inks or cardstock for this. 
Now I wanted some hearts and I like to use this Martha Stewart border punch. I just use it for the little hearts to scatter along a card. So I'm going to punch out several hearts here and add these to my card. Now you could use buttons on this, you could use die cuts, you could use all sorts of things. But I think when you have a simple card like this, sometimes the best thing to do is to stick with uh, cardstock and the same stamp that used on the background. For my greeting, I'm going to use the Hero Arts Hero Hues Black Dye Ink. This is my favorite black ink because it's nice and crisp, and it's also permanent, so you don't have to worry about it messing up if you, say, did watercolor over it. So I'm just going to stamp this on the area in between. Now remember, I have a clear set with lots of thank you greetings. So when I create more of these, I can just change up the thank you greeting on each of the cards just for a different look. You could also give these as a set for a gift. And now I'll just go ahead and arrange the little hearts on there. So there's the final card, very simple and clean. I think it's fun to use the background stamp in a creative way. I also created this one where I just stamped thanks repeatedly. That's from the same clear set. And I used even more of the strips that I cut to create this card. On this one I decided to round the corners just to kind of soften it up a bit. So I hope this inspires you to use a background stamp in a different sort of way and also to check out some of the new Hero Arts 2013 stamps. If you have any questions, be sure to visit my blog. Thanks for watching.